This is Gossip. Gossip is Zazzle's daughter. So I'm going to show you how to groom um, the foot. And I'm going to show you on one of Gossip's front feet. And then I'll go back and I'll show you the difference of what you're going to do on her back foot. Okay, so I picked Gossip because I figured she'd probably bite me the least. Um, Zazzle's is really the, the easiest dog to trim and do, do stuff with her feet and make her lay down and get groomed because she's trained the best and she bites the least. So I'm just showing you a picture, um, like Gossip's paw, um, pad is all filled with hair it's, and her nails are long so they need to be trimmed. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by trimming her nails. And so I trim first with a guillotine trimmer and the, the powder, the styptic powder, is in case I accidentally um, cut too far and quicker and um, it starts to bleed, so it makes it stop bleeding. So you'll see that her nails are out pretty far right now. They're pretty long. Um, so I'm gonna pause and get started on how I trim with the guillotine trimmer. Okay, so whenever you trim with a guillotine trimmer, um, you want the, um, the trimmer should be in your hand so that the side with the blade is against your palm. And then you're gonna pull with that side. And so you're going to expose the nail and it just goes through. And it's better to make small cuts and not go into the quick than it is to make like one really big cut, especially with Zazzle's has nails that grow really, really fast. And so they'll be out and you probably will have to trim off quite a bit, but it's better to do it in little small pieces because what you're looking for is a little half moon, which you're not going to be able to see on the video, but um, um, I'll send you an illustration so that you can see what it looks like. Tegan, can you try to fix that and make it in focus? Touch the screen. And so you see a little half moon inside and you probably can't see it on the video, but I'll send you an illustration. So you're just trimming until you see that half moon. That half moon is the tissue. And so then you want to stop because if you get into that, it's going to bleed. Um, and if it does bleed, it's not, a, it's not uh, an emergency. You just want to use your styptic and have your styptic ready so that you can um, stop it and you, you'll cover it with styptic if it starts to bleed. Okay, so my next step after I trim the nails, and um, you can see that I accidentally got one in the quick after I um, paused and finished doing her, her trimming, is to Dremel the nails. So I use a Dremel and I just, um, it's gotta be variable speed. If you don't have this, then you can um, just use a, a regular human nail file and just get the rough edges off. Let me stop because that one, whenever I did the Dremel, I, um, it started to bleed because I was that close to the quick from, from where I trimmed it. So what I'm going to do is just get this styptic and I keep it in, can you see that Tegan? I keep it in a little lid. I just dump some out in the lid and then I pick it up and pinch it and I'll just put it on where it's bleeding and press it in to get the bleeding to stop. Okay, so I'm not going to make you watch me finish Dremeling all of her nails, but if you don't have a Dremel, just get a human nail file and go around the edges and get rid of those rough edges because otherwise it's going to scrape if she jumps up on you and it'll sometimes it'll even get caught in your um, clothing and snag your clothes. So you want to get rid of that roughness. Okay, so the next step is going to be to trim all this hair um, out of her paws. And so I just use a simple pair of shears. These are from Sally's. And they're actually human shears, but human shears, there's really not any difference in human shears and dog and the shears that, that are sold to use for dogs. So, um, so the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all of this hair that's sticking out of her pad just by trimming even with the pad. Just be careful not to accidentally nick the pad when you're doing that. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. And then I'm going to um, sort of press her foot from the top so that it opens up the pad. And I'm gonna get down in here and on the inside of the leg, I'm gonna go all the way in. And of course I wanna trim out as much of that as possible because that's what picks up dirt and brings it into your house. But then on this outside pa um, pa part of the pad, I'm not going to trim past this 
this little dent in the bottom pad. I don't want to, if I trim into that, then it's going to create a nick in the outside of her paw that you'll see. And so we don't want that, we don't want it uh, to create a nick in the fur on the outside of the paw. So we're only going to go on this one, let me trim that extra piece, but down into the paw, we're only going to go to this little bump in the big pad right there. But you can get down in there and get out as much as you possibly can. Then I'm going to come back and I'm going to take my little um, slicker brush and pull all the hair, brush it all straight down. And then I want to trim what's sticking out over the tip of her paw as close to even with the pad as I can. Like that. Okay, so then I'm going to take my slicker brush and I'm going to brush backwards. So brush the hair against the grain to get all of this. And you can actually take your finger and go in between those paws and uh, in between the toes and pull the hair up off the paw so that you've got all this crazy hair sticking out the top. And this, I'm just going to show you how to do it with regular shears since I know you don't have curves. So I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to kind of trim that off like so. Okay, so once I've got the, the excess trimmed off, um, then that's good enough for just maintenance and for keeping the, the paws look, looking neat. Um, if I were grooming her to take her to a show, I would go back with my, I would actually have done the top of the foot with my curves so that I can create this more rounded cat foot. So as we get closer to time for the national, um, if you'll just um, trim in the pad and trim the front of the paw and leave that hair growing between the toes so that I can use that to create a cat foot on Zazzles. Um, that's probably the best bet. Um, and then you can do a little trimming in the pastern if it's shaggy and it's hanging down to the ground. Um, right now, Zazz this is gossip and um, she's, she's okay, so I'm not even going to bother trimming that. And then, um, so next I'll show you how to trim the hawk. The back foot is done the same. The nails are the same. The pad is the same. Just on the outside edge, only trim to the little, the bump in the big pad. And um, on the inside, you can go all the way. And then I'll show you how to trim just this hawk area. Okay, so the first step on the hawk is going to be to take your the coarse end of your greyhound comb and comb that out. And then once I've got it combed out with the coarse end, I'm going to go back with the fine end and get it combed through even more. And I haven't done her, her nails on this pad yet, but, um, okay, so then I'm going to toss up. Then I'm just going to brush all of this up and out to the back with my um, slicker brush and then gossip stand up. Okay, then I have the dog stand up. Get down here on her, on her hawk. And so then I'm going to take all of this excess that's sticking out in the back, and I'm just going to trim it so that it makes her hawk look perpendicular to the ground. And you don't want to trim in too far, especially on Zazzles, because Zazzles doesn't have a lot of bone. So you kind of want to conserve, be conservative and preserve as much coat as you can. And then that you just brush up. And so once you've got that trimmed so that it looks perpendicular to the ground, then you're good.